involved. And one of the things that came out of it that alarmed him, a few things came out of it that alarmed him, but one of them was that people didn't feel connected. So among other things that he wanted to work on, he commissioned a task force of a cross-section of people involved in the hospital to come up with some techniques where people could feel connected. One of the things they did is they drafted a vision statement. And then they spent three months walking it through different parts of the organization and editing it and getting it right. And then they put it on a little card and for many years they carried that card. I spent a few, I was so impressed with this when I heard him give a talk about it the, at a conference for nonprofits. I, I spent a few years checking out whether or not it was mirrors and blue smoke or it was true. I talked to doctors and nurses who worked there. I talked to, at SUMA, I talked to doctors and nurses who had left. I even talked to a board member. And they convinced the skeptical scientist in me that it was true. I'd like to read you that vision statement from SUMA Healthcare. You are what people see when they arrive here. Yours are the eyes they look into when they're frightened and lonely. Yours are the voices people hear when they ride elevators, when they try to sleep, and when they try to forget their problems. You are what they hear on their way to appointments that could affect their destinies and what they hear after they leave those appointments. Yours are the comments people hear when you think they can't. Yours is the intelligence and caring that people hope they'll find here. If you're noisy, so is the hospital. If you're rude, so is the hospital. And if you're wonderful, so is the hospital. No visitors, patients, physicians, or coworkers can ever know the real you unless you let them see it. All they know is what they see and hear and experience. So we have a stake in your attitude and the attitudes of everyone who works at the hospital. We are judged by your performance. We are the care you give, the attention you pay, the courtesies you extend. Thank you for all you're doing. How's that for a vision statement? You notice nowhere in there does it say we want to be the number one health care provider of choice in central Ohio? Going back to a message I offered in the first module, that would be an example of confusing goals with purpose. A vision statement is about purpose. I love this vision statement because it ends up invoking the very essence of hope and compassion. People often hear me talk about this, and I got permission from Tom Strauss and, and the lawyers at Summa Health Systems to use this and reproduce it in our 2005 book, Resonant Leadership. But part of it is that it's just such a marvelous message. And people say, wow, I'd like to go there for my health care. Hey, I'd like to work at a place like that. 